it first came out in December and uh, as the cows came in the robot we swapped the teats um, and there was um, a lot of E. coli on the teats and then the robot cleaned it and um, there was nothing, the teat was spotless but then when she milked during the few minutes that the teat cup was on all those back we swabbed the, the teats afterwards and all those bacteria were back again the teat spray that I was using I wasn't getting the, the results that I wanted and I, I did want to use my reduce my antibiotic use because we've all got to do that um, and uh, I just like the idea of it not being a chemical really We started off uh, using the Pruex teat spray um, in December, beginning of December, and uh, I'm really chuffed with it. It's, it's, that's worked really well, that has. We had really good teat, um, teat end condition before, and, and it's not changed. And then, because you haven't got all the skin conditioner on it, the teats are drier, so they're not picking up the dirt like they used to, which I suppose that is the main thing. My filters are clean. We started using the FOMA um, in the beginning of March um, because we we had dermatitis. We've never had dermatitis before, and it, it started to creep in. Well, it started creeping over the last couple of years. You'd be walking around the collecting at the cubicles, and you'd see one holding a foot up. You can't keep on top of it somehow. The cows they didn't like using a foot bath. You know, they'd come out of the robot and just fill the foot bath up with manure, um, and I wanted something just different from what we had. That's been really easy to do. Um, I think most of the robots have got um, extra feeding systems that you can use. I think you can feed up to three feeds. Um, and we've just util utilised one of those airlines. So all it's doing is blowing air into the barrel and making the foam and it's doing that every time a cow comes into the robot. So if there's no cows in the robot, it's not making any foam. This is uh, my, my Pro-X foaming machine. So I've got an airline going in here, put a hole in the bung and inserted a piece of pipe just, just inside the barrel. And I've got a sock on the end. Um, and this is just one of my old work socks. So having really clean water um, and less harmful bacteria about can only be beneficial. So uh, my next project will be introducing it into the water system.